How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about SNDL Sundown Growers. I've been getting the messages saying, Dre, it has been a while since you have given us an update. What is going on? So I know the stock has been pulling back. So I'm going to make sure to put this update video for you guys. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support and we also want to know resistance and what type of a bullish move are we looking forward to in regards to a reversal. And then we're going to be on Fintel taking a look at the short interest information. Our shorts still heavily vested in this play. The reason why it's important because it does have an impact on the overall stock price. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. Our institute loading up on shares of SNDL. The reason why we want to know this because this could give us a bullish or a bearish signal as far as going forward. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more key details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for SNDL Sundial Growers. Let's see how it performed on Friday. So we ended up closing at 67 cents, being down 4.06%. On the low, it tested 67 cents, and then on the high, testing 69 cents. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 88.243 million shares, and the average volume over 10 trading days being at 67.97 million shares. So when we see this above average volume and you see the stock pull back, of course, there is a lot of selling pressure on the day. Now, when we take a look at our chart, we're using the one-year daily chart. We can see from the RSI down below it is at 37.52 so you can see clearly in that oversold territory and when we take a look at the moving averages on the chart we are below the 200 day the 100 day the 50 day and as well as the 21 day EMA so if we're looking at a bullish case scenario for SNDL it would have to come back to reclaim the 21 day EMA right here around 72 cents but what we could clearly see from the chart it has been on a downtrend and being below all of the major moving averages it could pull back even further and one of the levels you want to pay attention to back all the way in May you can see here I think it was around May the 13th we got as low as around 64 cents so taking that into consideration here this is a possibility we could revisit this area of 64 and one of the things you also have to keep in mind is the industry itself there's been many stocks who have been pulling back in the cannabis sector and of course SNDL is being impacted by this so can this be a buying opportunity of course it can if you believe in a long-term profit prospects and you're willing to actually hold this stock. But for the most part, from a technical standpoint, before I actually want to get into a trade, I'd want to see this actually stabilize and see a sign of recovery. And what that means is getting back closer to the 70 cent range. So for now, I won't be touching it. So we're going to take a look at the short interest information for SNDL. So scrolling down on the page, the short shares availability is at 9.9 .9 million updated just now. And then for the short ball fee rate, it is at 1.31%. When we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio we can see for the close of the 22nd it was at 41.55 and then the close for the 23rd being at 54.58 and then the close for the friday being at 58.54 sure shorts are definitely doubling down on sndl in regards to their overall positions but one thing this does tell us sndl does have short squeeze potential but this is only going to happen unless we have buying pressure coming into the stock but for the most part, if we continuing to have a pullback, as far as when we took a look at our technicals, this can easily start pulling back further and getting to the 65 cent range or lower. So we just got to continue to keep an eye on it and see where it goes. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for SNDL. So we can see here on the inflow, it was 17.02. And then on the outflow, it was 16.49. When we take a look at the breakdown, we had zero on the largest for the inflow side. On the medium, we had 11. 
11.32 and then on the small we had 5.70. Taking a look at the outflow side on the large it was 0.48, on the medium it was 10.41 and then on the small it was 5.60. So analyzing that breakdown we can see as far as on the retail side there was a lot of selling but also there was a lot of buying so that's why we had a surplus on the inflow side and when you take a look at the medium we also had another surplus so even though there was a ton of selling we still had a more buying that was going on but of course when we take a look at the large-scale orders in the last five days for September the 24th, which was a Friday that just passed, you'll see outflow of 482.22. So what this tells us, institutions were dumping shares, but we saw there was a lot of buying and demand on the retail side. So you wanna to continue to keep an eye on these numbers going into Monday and as well as for the rest of the week. And the reason why this is important, the cannabis sector as a whole has been pulling back. It is that part of the season. So this is why I'm not too surprised about it, but I'm gonna go further as far as how I'm gonna be looking at SNDL stock inside of the final thoughts. So let's get to it right now. So for my final thoughts for SNDL Sundial Growers, if you're gonna be trading this play, you wanna be strategic. As far as for the cannabis industry as a whole, it has been pulling back for quite some time. So with that said, as far as SNDL stock price, you should not be concerned whatsoever because it's impacting the entire industry. So this is why I say, if you're doing your homework and you're doing your due diligence and you believe in the long-term prospects of Sundial Growers, Growers, hey, give it some consideration as far as adding to your position. I myself, I think this stock could go below 64 cents. And if it does decide to do that, then I would definitely be looking, you know what? purchase a few shares. But one thing also to understand is keep track of what's going down inside of the industry. See when it looks like when it's about to recover. I keep a whole entire watch list of stocks in the cannabis sector. I'll put that up on the screen very quickly. You could take a look at that. And also if you want to have exposure to the cannabis industry without having to go into one stock in particular, then look into the ETF called MJ. I keep that as my tracker for the industry and it has pulled back like I was saying. So that might be something worth consideration. As far as when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, SNDL does continue to have short squeeze potential. But it also does tell us as far as shorts are concerned, they are continuing to double down on this play. So what that means, they see, you know what, there's a lot more downside for the stock price of SNDL. And that's one thing I want to make sure I share with you guys and you're aware of that. And this is why I always say, if you're going to be inside of these penny stock type of plays, you want to make sure you limit your exposure as much as possible, especially when it comes to your trading account. The last thing that you want to do is blow up your hard-earned money. And this is why I always emphasize this fact, risk management is very key. You don't hear a lot of that on YouTube. Everyone's telling you, hey, it's going to go to the moves. It's going to be short squeeze. It's going to go to $2, $5. All of that stuff, I want you to ignore it because at the end of the day, you're the one who's in charge of the money that you're putting into the market. And I'm just here to make sure that you're seeing success and you're being profitable while doing that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.